Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub and so today in this video I'll tell you about the Cauchy Euler differential equation right so let us first of all understand what is the basic Cauchy Euler differential equation and then we will study the methodology to solve it. So a general Cauchy Euler differential equation looks like x raised to power n into dn y by dxn plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 dn minus 1 dxn minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 x into dy by dx plus a n y is equal to bx. So what is the dif difference in this differential equation and the ones we were just studying before these videos, right? So what you, you can see here that in the previous videos when we were studying the complementary solution and the particular integral along with the differential coefficients whatever coefficients we had they were constants right now we have the same power of x multiplied with the differential coefficient so if it is dy by dx we have power of x raised to power 1 multiplied with it if it is dn minus 1 by dxn minus 1 we have x to the power n minus 1 multiplied with it if we have dny by dxn then we have x to the power n multiplied with it right so whatever are the differential coefficients along with it we have the same powers of x multiplied so what is the basic notion that if we are able to convert this differential equation into a differential equation with constant coefficients, then we can apply all the previous methods, right? Now, how to convert this equation into the previous differential equation? So, this equation is called the Cauchy-Euler differential equation. So, how do we convert this? For this, we will substitute in any Cauchy-Euler differential equation, we'll substitute x as e raised to power t. So if x is e raised to power t, if you take log on both sides, you will get t is equal to log x, right? So now when we are converting something in terms of t, everything in the differential equation should be converted in terms of t. That means all the differential coefficients also have to convert it in terms of t. So we have dy by dx, we have d2y by dx, d cube y by dx cube and so on till the nth order, right? So what we will try to do, we will try to convert first dy by dx and then d2y by dx square and we will get an idea that what will happen to the rest of the differential coefficients. So let us see what is to be done. So if t is log x, then we know that dt by dx will be 1 by x, right? So now we will take care of this and we will try to calculate the value of dy by dx, right? So what is dy by dx? Can we write dy by dx as using the chain rule as dy by dt into dt by dx? Yes, of course. And then in the next step, you can replace dt by dx with 1 by x, right? So we get dt by dy by dx is 1 by x times dy by dt. So let us follow some notions. So from here we can multiply it with x. Now generally we have substitute d by dx as d and so let us substitute d by dt as theta, right? So when we use these substitutions we will get this equation reduced to x into dy is equal to theta y. So this is our first substitution. So where we have this product x into dy we can convert it into theta y. So here you can see that along with derivative we had x multiplied with it but when we use the substitution x as e raised to power t we convert it into a derivative which has a constant coefficient attached to it right. So now the next step is to calculate the second derivative the second order derivative. Now what is the second order derivative d2y by dx square we can write d2y by dx square as d by dx of dy by dx. Now we have already calculated the value of dy by dx in the previous slide. So we see that this is d by dx of 1 by x into dy by dt. So we can apply the product rule to take the derivative. So we will keep 1 by x constant first. We'll take the derivative of y by t and then we will take dy by dt constant and we will take the derivative of 1 by x. So this is what I've written here. 1 by x times d by dx of dy by dt and then dy by dt dy dx of 1 by x. So this is d2y by dt square into dt by dx. Then derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and we get dy by dt. Right. 
Now we know that what is dt by dx? It is 1 by x. We have previously done it. So we'll substitute the value and we get 1 by x squared d2y by dt squared minus 1 by x squared dy by dt. So let us multiply with x squared on both sides. So when we multiply with x squared on both sides, we get x squared d2y by dx squared is equal to d2y by dt squared minus dy by dt. Converted into symbolic form, so we get x squared d square y is theta square y minus theta y. So you can take out theta common from both and you get theta into theta minus 1 into y. So can you get an idea? So what is happening? We are substituting x into dy as theta y. The second value that we are getting is x squared d square y and that is coming out to be theta into theta minus 1 y. So any idea what will be x cube d cube y when we calculate it? It will be theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 into y and so on. So we get a general formula and the general formula becomes like this x cube d cube y as I just told you theta theta minus 1 theta minus 2 into y. Then x4 d4 y will be theta theta minus 1 theta minus 2 theta minus 3 into y and so on when you continue in this method. We get x and d and y is theta, theta minus 1, theta minus 2, so on up till theta minus n minus 1, y, right? And with this substitution, the differential equation with which was having the powers of x multiply with it gets converted into a differential equation with constant O, right? So this is what are the working rules for the cauchy euler differential equation, right? And once it gets converted to a differential equation with constant coefficients, we can apply all the previous methods that we are doing here to solve that differential right? So let us try to solve this question. We need to solve x squared y double dash plus x into y dash minus y is equal to 0. So the very important step is to identify the problem, right? So here we can see this is y dash. We have multiplied x along with it. This is y double dash and we have multiplied x squared along with it, right? So this is your cauchy -Eiler. So what is the method? We will substitute x as e raised to power t. So t will become log x, right? And when we convert this, we have done the derivation. So we know that x squared d square y will get converted to theta into theta minus 1 y plus x into dy will become theta y minus this is y is equal to 0. So you can take out theta square minus theta plus theta minus 1 into y is equal to 0. So theta gets cancelled and we get theta square minus 1 is equal to 0. So your auxiliary equation becomes theta square minus 1 is equal to 0. When you convert this into an algebraic equation, m square minus 1 is equal to 0. So m comes out to be plus minus 1. So from here, what is your complementary solution? So it is c1 e raised to power. Now we are solving the equation in theta. What is theta? d by dt. So y will come out to be c1 e raised to power t plus c2 e raised to power minus t, right? But the question was not given in terms of t. So we back substitute e raised to power t is x. So this term becomes c1x plus c2 by x. So this becomes our answer, right? So I hope you have understood, right, the question. So now let's work out another problem. So we are given x squared d2y by dx squared minus 2x dy by dx minus 4y is equal to x to the power 4. So again you can see with dy by dx x is multiplied with d2y by dx squared x squared is multiplied. So we put x as e raised to power t. So this implies t is equal to log x and when we convert this equation we get theta into theta minus 1 y minus 2 into theta y plus sorry minus 4 y is equal to what is x raised to power 4 it will be e raised to power 4 right 
So let's take out y common from all the expressions. Minus 2 theta minus 4 into y is equal to e raised to power. Right. So this is nothing but theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 into y is equal to e raised to power 40. So here you can see that this is a non-homogeneous equation. So we have to work out for both the complementary solution as well as the particular integral. So for the complementary solution, let's put the auxiliary equation equal to 0 and let's convert this into an algebraic expression. So this is m square minus 3m minus 4 is equal to 0. So what is m? m is minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. So this is 16 by 2 and this is 3 plus minus 5 by 2. So we have 8 by 2 that is 4, 3 minus 5 minus 2 by 2. So your complementary solution becomes c1 e raised to power 40 plus c2 e raised to power minus t. And when you convert this into your equation in x, this will be c1 x to the power 4 plus c2 divided by x. Right? Now let's work out for the particular integral. So yp is 1 by theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 into the right hand side function that is e raised to power 4. Now this is exponential so if you remember my video on the particular integral rule 1 case we have to replace d with 4 but now we don't have d so we will replace theta by 4. So when you replace theta by 4 you get 4 square 16 minus 3 into 4 minus 12 minus 4 into e raised to power 40. But you can see that the case is failing. It's a failure case. So in that case, we multiply with x. So now we won't multiply with x. We'll multiply with t. And we'll take the derivative 2 theta minus 3 into e raised to power 4. So now again, substitute theta by 4. So we will get 2 into 4 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. So this is our particular integral. But then we need to convert it back into variable x. So t is log x and e to the power 4 t is x raised to power 4 divided by 5. So what is your final solution? y is c1 x raised to power 4 plus c2 by x plus x raised to power 4 log x divided by 5. Right? So this becomes our final answer. So let's move on to the next question, right? So let's see this question. It is x squared d2y by dx squared plus x dy by dx plus y is equal to sine log x squared, right? So again, the same thing. So we will put x as e raised to power t and t will come out to be log x, right? And when we convert this, our equation will become theta into theta minus 1 into y plus theta y plus y is equal to. Now, what is sine log x square? This is sine 2 log x. 2 log x means it is t, right? So, you can write this as sine 2 t. So, the auxiliary equation that is framed here is theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 into y is equal to sine 2t. So from here you can see that theta gets cancelled and your algebraic equation will be m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So m comes out to be plus minus iota. So what is your complementary solution? The complementary solution is c1 cos x plus c2 sine. Right? So now let's come to the particular integral. Sorry. This is not in x, this is in terms of t, right? And then when we convert this to back in x, this is c1 cos log x plus c2 sine log x, right? So the particular solution is 1 by theta square plus 1 into sine 2t. So we know that when we have sine, the rule says 
replace theta square with minus 2 square which is minus 4. So minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So we get minus sine 2t by right. So finally what is the solution then? So sine 2t means I can write this as minus sine 2 log x by 3. So y comes out to be c1 cos log x plus c2 sine log x. Right? This is the complementary solution and the particular solution can be written as log x square divided by that becomes our answer. Okay? So I hope you have understood this question. I have again given another question for you. You can check, you can do the question on your own, but now here see it is x square dq y by dx cube. So you can see 1x is less. So you can multiply the entire equation with x, right? So, I have, so don't try to see the solution before you do it on your own. I have already given the solution here. So after you have attempted it, check your answer, right? And do try these practice problems and if you have any doubts in these practice problems do put it in the comment section and i'll do answer right thank you so much for attentively watching this video if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel thank you so much and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed